Hey guys, that's right, and a new study shows most people here in Edmond can't afford the cost of a new house here. Now, City Council took public comments, but still no official action yet. My husband is a police officer in Oklahoma City. He was also a veteran. A veteran herself, this Edmond resident says she's doing all she knows how to do. She and her husband are full-time employees, and it's barely enough. Here we are with, you know, minimal income, living paycheck to paycheck. And she says times have changed. The housing situation in Edmond isn't like it used to be. It's so hard for our generation to be placed against, you know, people from the 70s who could work one job and afford you know, a home here in Edmond. During the city council meeting, staff pointed to a recent housing plan assessment that showed just under 65% of Edmond residents can't afford the average new home in city limits. Why are we tearing them down and putting two $500,000 houses right there on the same lot? Some current Edmond homeowners argue they had to work hard to afford a house in Edmond, and it's not the city government's place to get involved in the local housing market. When I wanted more money, I wanted to advance. I went out and got the skills. You go get another degree. You go find something else to do that does make money. Th this idea of helping people and giving them things only makes them weaker. And I, I really have a problem with that. But a local developer says something needs to be done for employees that have to commute from outside city limits on a daily basis. When 75% of your workforce can't live in the town they work in, that's a sad statement. And at the meeting, city staff said that updating zoning codes moving forward will be key in the future.